Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my full review on the Quiet Carry Drift in G10. So I never actually did a full review on the Drift. Um, I never had the one with the holes or the hole uh, for deployment, the first version. Um, and then I had two of the titanium ones with thumb studs. Uh, one was knurled with stonewash and one was uh, plain or stonewashed, stonewashed, right? And I really like those knives. I think I did a disassembly, first impressions. I did a few unboxings, I'm sure. Sorry, it looks like there's a hair on the camera. <laughs> All right, I think I got it. I think I got it, sorry. Um, and I never ended up doing the full reviews because I ended up selling them uh, because they just did not work left-handed for what I like. The, the thumb flick worked great. The action was good, especially for the frame lock ones. I mean, they dropped and then nice shake home. Uh, but I'm a lefty and I like to reverse flick. And I just could not get comfortable reverse flicking. As much as I really tried to conform to that knife, hold it in the right spot, there would always be times where I'd get it, and there would be times where I just couldn't. And it frustrated the shit out of me. And I really tried to battle it on that knife because I loved everything else about the knife, but I couldn't. I ended up selling it. Um, and then I reached out to Quiet Carry uh, recently, and I was asking them about a giveaway I had coming up, and I also asked if they would maybe give me a discount on a G10 drift because I figured left-handed, reverse flick, liner lock, makes sense, right? Of course, I prefer titanium. Um, I do kind of prefer liner locks over frame locks, depending on the situation. Um, so anyway, they just sent me one. They were gracious enough, just sent me one. Uh, so this is the one they sent me. It's black G10. So we can get into it here. Black G10. Uh, drop point blade. You have a very nice choil here. Vanex steel. That's important. Uh, you have a LC 200N on the liners and on the, obviously, the, the liner lock. Um, and then you have marine grade hardware. I believe it's titanium, but it could be steel. Marine grade. Um, so essentially, this whole knife, it is rust proof, um, which is awesome right and you have g10 instead of titanium which it's not going to rust either so it works um and this has a reversible clip which the uh, titanium one did not so another plus for the g10 i mean i can reverse flick it with the liner lock and i can carry it lefty that's a big deal to me even though i'm not a g10 fan right uh, it works in this case. It's it's not smooth, but it's not like Spider Co. rough tearing your hands up, right? It's just perfect, essentially. I love the look of this knife. It's basically a simple knife, right? Um, I wasn't a big fan of the one with the hole because it kind of gives it that fish look I don't like. Um, and it, it, with the studs, it works. It's not a big deal. I love the clip aesthetically. It's very nice. It's deep carry all the way to the end. It carries beautifully. Uh, we'll get to that. So aesthetics, wonderful. Do I wish it was a satin blade? Yes, but it doesn't matter. And honestly, this is a knife I have used uh, more than a lot of knives I get in already and plan to use. Uh, so I think the stone wash actually makes sense. Uh, size wise, it's about a three inch blade, I think. Maybe three and a quarter at the most. Uh, but with that choil, you lose some cutting edge. So I'd say cutting edge is right around three maybe. Uh, and then ergonomically in my hand in this back grip it fits literally perfectly like just fits my hand I have a large glove size hand um, and then you have this choil which is pretty much where I live up in this choil you can get very good control with the blade right so ergos on this thing are fantastic that clip does not bite you whether you hold it left or right I can feel it but it's not like a hot spot right um carry so guys it carries like a dream deep carry clip the g10's not rough um it pops in it pops out it, it really has great retention it's just it's one of those that you just slide in and you slide out you never worry about it you don't even know it's there it's super lightweight i mean this thing can't weigh more than three ounces um just fantastic on the carry uh cutting man another home run right here on the cutting 
they uh, grinded this full flat grind here. Well, basically full flat grind, um, Vanex steel, very sharp. I used this for some yard work last week and I had to cut a good amount of the weed whacker cord, whatever the fuck that's called. And this stuff, it just ate it up. I would just, you know, wrap it around and it would eat it up. Uh, I did get a little bit where it would slip off that belly a little bit and try to come off. Uh, but I just made sure I started here and by the time I got through to the belly, it was cut, right? Uh, I didn't have any deforming or any issues on the edge. It has stayed true um, and fantastic. I mean, I cut some cardboard with it as well and it works great. Uh, it's just a good cutter all around. Uh, very, I would say a thin edge on this. Maybe not the thinnest, but it, it's gotta be somewhere around 17 thousandths behind the edge. Uh, just a really good knife to work with guys it's dead centered dead nuts on the centering i have not messed with it at all i was just gonna let it break in uh, you could see it when i got it it never dropped like that it was stiff and i'd have to shake it down now i could just push the lock bar over it drops to my nail bang and for a knife on washers that is made for work made to be rust proof um, that is fantastic. This knife has a purpose and that's why it it doesn't have to Be perfect in everything. I usually like like it doesn't have to just be a guillotine shut um, It you know what I mean like the detent doesn't it is though the detents money But even if it wasn't I'd be okay with it because this knife is made for working It's made to be rust proof. It's made to be What's that? I'm going to the ocean. What's that knife? I have that I can bring, bang, you know? Um, and for two, I think they're like 250 for G10 with Vanex. I think that's a good price. You're always, you basically have to add $100 to the price of a knife when you add Vanex. That's just what it is. Um, so this knife would be like 150 if it had like S35VN, right? I could see that with the G10, uh, the steel liners, they're LC200N, but so there's some cost, but. Uh, 150 and then you add a hundred bucks to get the van X on it. It's just how much that steel costs um, Yeah, uh, I kind of just went over action didn't I so it drops uh, Reverse flick works great left-handed thumb flick fantastic left-handed all of that works right-handed That's what's so good about this knife being a liner lock. That's why I love liner locks uh, Ergo sounds really chucked it there didn't I yeah very good and the detent's good guys that that first one I literally hammered it and it bounced off you can see right here it's good very very good detent um, show you again I don't know if I got that on camera just very good um, yeah guys this this knife is a home run from quiet carry I'm not just saying that because they gave this to me because I, I paid $300 for two spitting, two titanium ones. So I've spent $600 on a drift before. And I've spent another, I think, $300 on a, on a waypoint. So I'm like $1,000 deep into Quiet Carry on my own. They have donated some stuff to the channel, but uh, I just want to be honest there. This knife is fantastic. It sits on its own. If they would have given me a discount or if they would have told me to F off, you're paying the full price, I would have paid it to get it anyway because I wanted to try it and I would still love it. Um, this knife just makes sense. It just makes sense. If you need a knife for any of those things, nice little compact work knife, nice little EDC knife, rust proof knife, or you just like a knife like this on washers, right? Uh, with a deep carry clip, G10, Vanex steel, it, it's totally worth it. This thing is a home run, guys. Uh, I am very glad that they went and came out with a version 2 with thumb studs because I think that really saved the drift. I don't think the one with the hole did very well because the detent wasn't dialed for it. Uh, and they went to studs, and I think they tuned that detent up a little bit, and they've nailed it. I mean, this thing has blown the waypoint off the map i don't really hear, hear people talking about the waypoint anymore it's all about the drift and i know it's the newer one but i just think overall having both of them this is the better option because of the ergos you have a better choil here you know 
I like the waypoint because it, it was a liner lock. It was a reversible clip. So I could flick the knife easily. Um, but it just didn't have the action this one does. It's just dialed better on this. And the ergos are fantastic. So I have rambled and ranted and raved about the quiet carry drift in G10, guys. I love it. Um, thank you to Quiet Carry for uh, do essentially donating this to me, giving this to me. Uh, that was awesome. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, I'll pay for the next one. <laughs> uh, I love every one of you watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later.